Greetings and welcome to Tokyo Station. Um, I've got kind of a, a funky gimbal action going on here, so bear with me. I'm at Tokyo Station. This is going to be an amazing live stream because for the longest time, uh, non-Japanese uh, passport holders here in Japan, like me, I'm a resident of Japan, were not able to really get a Japan Rail Pass. We did have the Tokyo Wide Pass, which is really kind of a game changer. This is the one right here. And this allowed me to travel uh, all the way up to um, Karuizawa and Echiko Yuzawa. And I use it a lot when I'm filming. But today, I'm going to be introducing you to a new pass. It's called the, the Japan East w Welcome Rail Pass. So let's go inside. They're gonna help me out and get it. And you can get it in several places all around Japan. Come on. This is the information center. Hey now, this is the information center where the ladies are gonna be uh, helping me out here. Now the pass right here, check it out. The pass is actually 12,000 yen, which is a little bit over $100, $120 about for US. And it's the JR East Welcome Pass 2020. And wow, children are half price. We are right now in the Japan Rail Cafe, and you can buy the pass inside of here. And these ladies are gonna be helping me. How you doing? Oh, over there. <laughs> Good morning. How are you today? Oh, I need a rail pass. Yes. 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 And I have a passport. All right, let's sit down here. Uh. Oh, yeah, right. Oh, right. Yeah, let's take a look. All right, so this is the Japan East Welcome Pass. Where can I go in this one? So it's different, the range is different here. Uh, so these passes probably start around here in the Kanto region from Tokyo, and then you can take the Shinkansen and other rail lines all the way up to Aomori. That's pretty amazing. And before, the Tokyo White Pass was limited just to this area about, and now it's opened up most of Tohoku and you can buy that here. Okay, I'm gonna buy one actually. Why not, right? So let's get a pass here. Um, yeah, you're welcome. So I'm going to uh, Yamagata on October 28th. Niju Hachinichi. Yeah. You need a passport in order to make uh, this pass. Now, if you are a Japanese passport holder, unfortunately, you're not able to get this pass. A lot of my friends that are foreign residents, they have Japanese wives or husbands and children without foreign passports. In this case, there's a go-to travel campaign. And with this campaign, you can get 50% off, but I believe that there's a certain time limit that you have to buy the pass in order to, uh, uh, to qualify for that. But the savings are there. For me, to use this, there's a window here. Typically, you, um, you should probably wear a mask, but for this only, we're gonna do that. There are procedures in place uh, to make sure that it's very safe. If you, if you want to get this pass, you need a passport. And if you don't have one, you can't get one. <laughs> it's as simple as that. However, I save so much money when I get this pass. And because I do have a foreign passport, um, Going up to Aomori and back is about 28,000 yen or $260. So this pass pays for itself with one trip. It's a no-brainer. So you're gonna wanna get this pass if you have a foreign passport. And if you have a, a Japanese family, see if you can get the go-to travel campaign and then that'll help with the savings. Cause I know a lot of residents are, are thinking about this already for planning it. Um, let's take a look here at the width 
the range of it one more time here. So I'm going to Yamagata, and that qualifies for this pass here. Also, other places that are of interest is Sendai, Fukushima, Morioka, Akita, and Aomori. And there are tons of attractions that you can hit. This pass starts from October 16th and goes on till February 2021. So I'm kind of I'm kind of excited about that. Unfortunately, Kanai is not going to be able to use this pass. <laughs> Hi. Okay. Twelve thousand yen. I could pay by credit card, but then you know what would happen? Oh, yeah, right. So let's take a look here. So some information on how to use this Japan East Welcome Rail Pass. It can be used for the Shinkansen. Um, it excludes the Tokaido Shinkansen. This is really important for you to, to, to know this. It's a limited express um, only. So that means, I, I don't know, I, I guess, I think all of the non-Tokaido Shinkansens are available. Let's ask that question. Conventional lines for all Japan East Railways, awesome. Some private rail lines, railway lines, for example, um, are not are not uh, available in here. There's some up in Iwate and some other prefectures, but this is just for Japan Rail. For ordinary seats, Japan Rail conventional lines do not basically need to make reservations. But if you need to make a reservation, you can do it at a, at a machine or at a window, and it's free of charge, and you can make as many as you want. Um, the Yamagata and the Akita Shinkansen require reservations, so you're going to want to do that. Um, it cannot be used for the Tokaido Shinkansen subways, private railways, uh, and they're listed here. Um, that's kind of a no-brainer. And the great thing about this ticket, the great thing about this ticket is that, oh, and the ticket is here right now. It's paper. It's pretty much paperless. Where with the Tokyo Wide Pass, we had this big story right here. This big pass. No longer do you have a pass like this. It is just like this. It's a piece of paper. This is the pass that I got it starting on the 28th to the 30th. You have to tell them the dates that it starts. Henko dekimasuka. Can you change the dates of the pass after you buy it? Oh, that's really good information. So you have to, when you purchase it, tell the dates, but you can change the ticket one time only. You have to come to a window right you can't do it and if you purchase online on the internet you can't change it at all yeah that's really important to know that but this unlocks three days of travel in the tohoku area which is awesome just it doesn't allow for the tokaido shinkansen so i can't go up to for example sendai made daijoubu uh, okay so tokaido shinkansen is is going um west right to osaka and kyoto yeah that's no good Oh, I like this information. This is good stuff. Yeah. So all I have to do is to put these this ticket through the ticket gate here. And uh, yeah, it looks pretty self-explanatory. Put it in there and make sure you don't forget it on the other side. I know when my family was visiting, sometimes they would just keep walking. And I'd say, where's your ticket? And they go, oh, no, I left it in the machine. The machines, if you do forget it, it goes right back into the vending machine, it goes back into the ticket machine and you have to ask the staff to come and get it out. And I've had to do that a couple of times. What is included here? Things that you need seat reservations for, good to know. The Hayabusa, which is the uh, Tokyo to Shin Aomori. The Komachi, which is uh, going to Akita, I believe, because Komachi rice is very famous. The Kagayaki, the Kaiji, Azusa, Hitachi, Tokiwa, and the Narita Express. Whoa, that's also included in here. You need seat reservations, so go to the window and get them in advance. In fact, if you know the dates where you're starting these trips, you can get the seat reservations for all of them. And in fact, um, actually, yeah, there's some more information here. Ah, gashimasu. How do you get the seat reservations here? Um, there's a vending machine. You don't have to go to the window, too. Ah, I've done this once before. As a Japan, as a holder of the Japan Tokyo Wide Pass or, or the uh, Welcome Pass, you can reserve seats for the Shinkansen Limited Express trains and others up to four people at one time through the vending machines. Everything is automated. 
And in fact, I have to tell you something. Hold on a second. You can actually buy this pass at a vending machine in Wayno, right? You, you take your passport and you can scan it as proof and it gives you the pass without having to talk with anybody. And in these, in these times, uh, because of, um, of COVID, this is something that's really good. So if, if you want to uh, get this without actually interacting with anybody, you can get this pass. Again, for those that are joining us, this pass is available from uh, October 16th until February 2021, and it unlocks all of Tohoku. And I'm going to be asking some of the questions. But actually, I can get a reservation now. Just now, I can get a reservation the 28th. Uh, I need a reservation to Yamagata. Yeah. I think 612. Yeah. How cool is that? So I'm going to be taking a trip on the 28th and I need this pass. And I'm so happy they've allowed me uh, an opportunity to film in here. This is the Japan Rail Cafe. Over there is a cafe. I can't show you that part, but... It's kind of neat if you're waiting for a train to hang out here. Just on the side of it is this location, the window, where you can talk with uh, representatives. And they speak English. And you can also get information about the trains, which is very um, helpful. And also some of the regions, too. The ladies here have been helping me for the last 30 minutes and answering some of my questions about the train pass. Oh! Oh yeah, Yamagata. Hi. Best season for going to the Yamadera. She said best season for Yamadera. That looks wonderful. Look at this. Wow. Oh, this is Yamadera. Yes. I've never been here before. Yeah. Yeah, but you have to climb up to that uh, 1,000 steps. Yeah, okay. <laughs> okay. Yes, I can climb up 1,000 yeah, steps. But you can enjoy the nice view in the Yamadera. Yeah. Yeah. Whoa, is this the Yamadera here? Uh, no, this oh. is another one. This is the Haguro Yama. Yamagata. Yamagata. Oh. Yeah, and there's yeah. Geisha on Yamadera too. <laughs> yes. And there is a mini onsen Michael. also. All <laughs> oh, right, onsen. Yeah. Oh, this is great information. Yeah, it's oh, it's ski season fun. too. So yeah. with this pass, I'll be able to go to yeah. some of the ski resorts. Yeah. And also the winter time is a very good place to go to the ski there. Yeah. And the famous uh, shogi. Do you know the shogi? Ah, That's shogi. A, it's a Japanese chess. game of strategy. Right, right, right. Very cool. This is all Yamagata. Yes. And also the nice to go to the fruit picking. Oh, fruit picking, right. Yes, yes. Now we have nashi maybe. Nashi, yes. This is a fruit picking. Ah, oh, yeah, cherry season is done yeah. maybe. And also the wine and uh, Japanese sake. Ooh, I could travel for sake right, and yeah. beef. Is that um, Yonezawa beef? Oh, I'm so there. <laughs> is that A5 Yonezawa beef? Right. Tabehodai? No, 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 no. You unfortunately, pay. you gotta pay. Yeah. You yeah. Can enjoy the Yamagata beef. yeah. I'll take it, it's okay. So it looks like Yamagata is stacked, and I'm going at a really good season. Um, the Koyo, which is autumn leaves, this is very famous in the Tohoku area. Yamagata, according to the ladies, right now is in perfect, the perfect time for it. So, Kampegi is your ima. Okay, I asked if it was going to be crowded and she said probably on the weekdays it's fine. On the weekends it does get a little bit crowded so you're going to want to make reservations for a hotel in advance. Something to think about um, during the peak season. Just now. That's the kind of help that these ladies will give you if you come here. Awesome. Ah, yo, yo, Hi. Okay, seat 1B. Yeah. Is that first class? Oh, sorry, this is original. No, ordinary? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Whenever I see on the airplane, seat 1B would mean first class, right? Just dreaming. Um, does this car, does this pass allow for green car and grand class? 
for the green card and the brown card. That's extra charge? Yeah, you have to pay. Oh, how much is it much more expensive? <laughs> yeah. No grand class, which is the first it's so good. One day I will show you grand class. It's so good. It's so good. I don't I don't I'm not worthy, I think. So there you have it. You can get the seat reservations um, at and this is for Japan Rail Pass too, for all passes. You can get the reservations at the vending machines. Uh, for JR East Passes. Uh, for the paper passes, right. Wow. This is such a steal. I'm so excited. So this is the actual, the new JR East Welcome Pass. Right now I'm holding it in my hands. Um, 12,000 yen for three days of unlimited travel that goes all the way up to Shin Aomori. Unlocking all of Tohoku. You've, you've made my dreams come true. Sake, Wagyu, Soba, Yamadera. Shrines and temples in autumn colors, skiing eventually. I, I, wow, it's unlocked all. This is amazing. Um, some other information that you're probably going to want to know. Again, kids are half price. You need a, this, these are for non-Japanese passports only. So if you have a passport from any other country except for Japan, you can't get this pass. The reason why they're doing this is because of COVID-19. Uh, there's, I think. 1,700 tourists came to Japan last August, which is less than one-tenth of one percent of the total amount of tourists last year at this time. There's not a lot of people traveling from abroad, and we really want to do our part to try to help here in Japan. The situation um, for COVID-19 in Japan is different than in other countries. We don't have a lockdown or anything, and we can travel safely. Again, there are procedures in place, like windows now when you come everywhere. Uh, wiping your hands with alcohol, wearing masks. These are all procedures that are required now when you travel. Um, and it's a, very much appreciated. Reservations are needed. Um, so that, that's, the, that's the reason why this, this pass is, uh, exists right now. And again, it's on from October 16th right now to February 2021. I'm so excited. I'm going actually in October to pick mushrooms. It's mushroom season in, in Yamagata, so that's what I'm going to be doing up there. This is awesome. Oh. Oh, look at all this. Why is that a glow in the dark train? Wait, is. Wait, so you're saying the, the Pokemon the Pokemon train is included in this? That's the that's the Pokemon train. The Pokemon with you train. I rode this in 2005. This is a special train that they set up after the great um, after the great uh, Tohoku earthquake to connect Kesanuma, right? This is such an amazing train and it looks like it's gotten a little bit more Pikachu-y. That's possible. Oh wow, so that's included in the past. This is the best day ever. Oh, and the, these are the train's uh, available times. This has just gotten real. Look at the stations, they're, they're Pokemon balls. <laughs> what is this train? The Gembi, wow, this is good for the Gembi? Oh, I'm so shocked. And this is the Shuk Shukura train. Look at how beautiful this is. Japan East is awesome. Japan Rail. Oh, look at this. Fine dining on a train. This is in the past too? Reservation needed. Uh, you have to pay the extra charge. But this is the kind of experience that I think, you know, I'm always looking for as a train otaku to be able to eat. And I read, I rode seven stars down in Kyushu in last year before the typhoon hit. And it was incredible. Um, I'm kind of excited about, oh, don't show me meat. Look what you're doing to me. That train has a foot bath? You cannot be serious. That train has a foot bath on it. Oh, awesome. There's the Yonizawa beef. Arigato Let's see if there's any questions here. 
Uh, I'm off the gimbal here. Craig Kawaguchi. Thank you, WX Turbo, Shortcut C, New Road Trips, uh, Jennifer French, Jeff Ang, Danny, nice to see Danny, Eugene Holbert. I'm taking some questions now live. I'm here at Japan Rail. If you have any questions at all, we will answer them. Go ahead. I'm going to lose that ticket. Don't lose your ticket, only three days. あ、子供は何歳から大丈夫ですか。ウォッ、ウォッ、ハウオールドイズアチャイルド。12イヤーズオールド。オッケー、サリー。エブリワンオーバー6イヤーズオールド。6歳。いや。あ、オーバー6イ
Um, this pass is only good for Japan Rail Pass, uh, for Japan Rail, Japan, J JR East trains. All right, so if there's private train lines or subways, they do not qualify for this pass. You can buy this pass as many times as you want. After the three days, you can buy a new one, and then you have six days, and then another new one, and then you have nine days. So you can, if you want um, to buy another pass, you can, pri you can buy, can I buy, that's a good question. Can I buy five passes for 15 days here? Just thinking outside the box here. Tony P, thank you. Did you need uh, to get permission to film there? Yes, Lazy. You do. That's not a train-related question. Can you transfer the pass? What do you mean? The pass is only good if for the passport. So, this pass is not a pass. It's not a Yeah. So, this pass that I just bought here, this is my pass, and it's connected. It's connected to me. So, it's non transferable. Yeah, it says here, right here. It's non transferable. Just don't do it. I'm right here. Okay. Is there a welcome pass variant? <laughs> right. There's a welcome pass variant um, for a green car. This pass is not good for the green car. To upgrade to green car, Kona Pass is bigger upgrade. You have to pay the difference. You so you can upgrade and actually it is the Kona Pass to Choto Yasui this name. So it's still cheaper. If you're gonna if you wanna ride the green car, if you have this pass, you still get a discount, but you have to pay full price for the difference. That's important and for grand class as well. Grand class more. Yeah, you just pay the difference. That's kind of good. What's the difference between the Japan JR Pass and the IC card? IC card um, is not possible to... An IC card is just for... You can actually put your Shinkansen ticket on your IC card, but not this pass. This pass, you, you need the ticket. The difference is that everything is digital with the IC card. And this is also digital on the back of here, so you can put it in here. And I like what uh, Japan Rail has done. They've cut down on the amount of paper that they're using. So they're very conscious about being um, good for the environment. So I like this. The pass there, the information, you can see it right there in the window. Um, I'll show this to you at the end of the live stream in about one minute. Yeah. These are great questions. The pass is 12,000 yen or approximately $120, maybe $115 with the exchange rates right now. And it's good from uh, October 16th until um, February 28th, the end of February. I'm gonna be using this pass like, like 10 times, I think. I'm, I'm a good, I give J Japan Rail a lot of business actually. Can you keep the pass as a souvenir? Yes. keep Yeah, you can keep the pass as it's done. When you put it into the ticket thing, it validates the pass. I think it stamps a hole in it, so therefore you cannot reuse this pass again. That's how they know. Um, the opposite hand signal is, uh, this is no and this is yes, right? Yeah. You just make a, an O with your hands. Yeah, yeah, that's yes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Right now, there's no plans to extend the pass, but things can change. So utilize this pass as much as you can until February 28th. That's my advice to you, and then we'll see. How much is the pass in every color? Pass only comes in one color. Who said that? All right, last question. Yes, you can eat an ekiben on it. Of course, ekibens are okay. Final information, I'm gonna take you over here. Arigatou gozaimasu. This is really, really interesting here. The last thing I wanna show you for the 1,100 people joining us right now, this is the pass right here. The website for this is in the description. So go over there and click it and you can see all the information right now. Japan East Welcome Rail Pass 2020 is the official name. It's for adults 12 years and over. Oh, and children, sorry. This is good. Children start, so Nosh Abroad from six to 11 and it's half price there. Yeah. Um, and it allows for travel to all of these regions. 
which is Tokyo, Ibaraki, Chiba. Oh, yeah, Chiba's in there. Tochigi, Gunma, Niigata, Yamagata, Akita, Iwate, Fukushima, Miyagi, and Aomori up there. Oh, wow. This is so unlocked. It's like unlocked Tohoku. And I'm here right now in the Japan Rail Cafe where you can get a coffee and get a pass. It's pretty cool. There's a lot of trains here. So if you have any questions, go back and look at the playback. I introduced all of the trains. You do need this here, all right? Do not come to the train station without your original passport, a copy, uh, residence. You, you can't use a copy of your passport. You need to come with your original passport. Um, you cannot use your residence card. You need a passport. This is very, very important. Passport, passport, passport. Um, so just keep that in mind. Don't come to the station without it because I never carry my passport. I have a residence card. And you can only buy your own. You can't buy your wife's. And Kanai's not, Kanai doesn't have an American passport. Not yet, anyways. All right. And then you will meet, if you come here, these beautiful ladies, Ito san and Fuji san, and they will help you. They're very happy, aren't they? <laughs> Arigato gozaimasu. Thanks, everybody, so much. Uh, I really appreciate it. Air to the Ron. Is there an end date for this pass? February 28th, 2020. 2021. February 28th, 2021 is the end date. Uh, Elena, 80 full, thank you. And who else is here? Matt Engstrom, I will buy up the pass only if Japanese government is allowing US tourists. We don't know yet when um, non, how do I say this? We don't know yet when foreign tourism is going to be started in Japan. I know that for Singapore and for a couple other countries, business travel has started and this is a good sign. But so far, I'm getting the impression that foreign tourism will not start until possibly in the spring. And then we're gonna have to wait and see. But I think this pass is very much intended for people like me that are living here in Japan. There's over a million foreign residents, non-Japanese residents living in Japan. And to utilize this and try to encourage people to travel, I think it's a very good thing. It opens up Japan um, to so many people and I'm gonna be using this pass a lot, all right? Have a great day, everybody. I'll see you in the next live stream, probably later today or tomorrow. Have a good day and check out that JR East Welcome Pass.